Hey everybody, welcome to the adventures of the Oklahoma Ground Man. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Uh, the winter weather is moving in here to Woodward. Uh, it's only about uh, 10 or 12 degrees right now. It's actually cooled off since I woke up this morning. It was 17 when I woke up and <coughs> now here in my truck the thermometer says 7 which I think is a little low but uh, I think it's probably around 12 degrees. It's cooled off a little. There's real fine little snowflakes starting to, to fly. Uh, I haven't had Old Blue running in a few days, so I wanted to get it out and get it warmed up. Uh, just in case I do need to go somewhere, I'll have the four wheel drive if we do get a bunch of snow. Right now we're in two to four inches with high winds. So two to four inches in 40 mile an hour winds, it'll be pretty much a, a blizzard again. It's not doing anything that bad yet. But I gotta run up to Walmart and get some water so I have drinking water in the house and get a few other little supplies. Uh, just wanna wanna be prepared a little bit. Uh, food wise I'm alright, but I definitely don't have any water in the house right now. I got plenty of milk. Uh, I don't. I haven't been drinking that much milk. But uh, <coughs> I just want to get a few things on hand to make sure that if the power goes out, I'll be ready to go. Uh, I don't foresee that happening. We're not supposed to get any ice or anything, but you never know. If a power line does go down, tree branch or something falls on it, it could be a while before the power company would get out and fix it. Uh, if we're in a whiteout blizzard conditions. Uh, so yeah, you just never know. So I wanna talk to Walmart and get a few supplies and be prepared as much as I can be. Uh, I doubt if we'll have church tomorrow, but I don't know yet. Uh, actually, the snow was coming in earlier than they said it was supposed to. It wasn't really supposed to start until tonight. And it's only 9.30 in the morning and it's already starting to snow. And the ground's cold enough now that it's going to it's going to stick around because the last snow that we got, the ground was still wet and warm, so most of it melted as it hit. And, well, that's not the case today. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I want to go get to Walmart, get this done, and I'm going to go home, and, and I'm pretty much going to stay there. Like I say, I, I don't know if we'll have church tomorrow or not, but uh, we'll just wait and see what that brings. Uh, Pastor Eric and Shelly will make that call, and I'm sure they'll, they'll not put anybody in danger to go to church because it's just not, not worth that, getting somebody out in a snowstorm or whatever. And the bitter cold, it wouldn't take long when it gets down to below zero and, and uh, 40 mile an hour winds to get somebody injured really fast. So, anyway, God bless you guys. I love you. Hope you all stay safe. Uh, I know they've been getting pounded with snow up in the mid upper Midwest uh, through Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. So yeah, everyone.
everybody stay safe stay warm god bless you guys i love you all the people that are affected with the thunderstorms and that up the east coast i hope everything turns out all right that way uh, yeah it's just a big mess so check on your neighbors do something nice for somebody god bless you guys i love you we'll talk to you later Hey everybody, I bought me a Mr. Heater Hunting Buddy Portable Propane Heater just for a backup. I've wanted one for a while and it's indoor safe so it'll just give me a little more sense of security if something does happen. At least I'll be able to stay warm. I bought some extra tanks. So yeah, we should be good. It's a 6 or 12,000 BTU, so, I mean, it won't heat the whole house, but I can move it around and keep the house warm if I need to, keep the pipes from freezing, so, just wanted to give you that quick update, talk to you later, God bless. Hey everybody, just a quick update. Uh, as you've seen, I went out and I got all the cars and the old blue warmed up and I went to Walmart and got water and got the Mr. Heater and a few other supplies and got the vehicles all turned around and backed in. I'm pretty much uh, done going out. That cold air is just taking my breath away, something fierce. So I think I'm going to be indoors unless it's an emergency. Uh, I don't see any reason to go anywhere. Uh, it's down to about 8 degrees. Uh, the wind has just got a real bite to it. Uh, the snow is kind of let up right now. It's really not supposed to start uh, until later today, but it, it's been flurrying already. So, yeah, it's getting closer. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Talk to you later. God bless. Hey, everybody. I just had these steaks in the, in the freezer. I got them out yesterday. They're pretty small little steaks, but it's more than enough for me. I'm just going to season it up with some onion powder, some Country Bob seasoning, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to put it in a freezer bag and or seal bag and with this Lowry steak and chop marinade, marinate them for a couple hours. And then I'm just going to cook it on my cast iron griddle here in the house. And uh, we'll bring you along with that. And that's going to be my dinner tonight along with some, I got some crinkle cut french fries that I want to stick in the air fryer. And probably some green beans. And that'll be my dinner tonight. So... I want to get this seasoned up and we'll show you what it looks like when I get it done. Okay, I got them all seasoned up. Now I'm going to put them in a freezer bag and, and put the rest of this Lowry sauce on it and just let them set here at room temperature until I get ready to cook. And we'll bring you along when I start with that. Okay, I got them marinating now in the bag. And we're just going to leave that set until I get ready to start cooking. And then we'll bring you along with that. So talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, I decided to bake my french fries instead of the air fryer. Just helped me warm up the house. And 
utilize some of that heat from baking and I got the cast iron griddle ready to go uh, I haven't got it turned on yet because it won't take long to fry the steaks up or grill them up as long as it will take the french fries so just wanted to get you that little clip talk to you later god bless hey everybody i got uh some olive oil put on the griddle here and uh as soon as it gets warmed up i'll get the steaks on there and i made some green beans uh with uh lemon pepper and a little butter so yeah once i get the steak on i'll show you what it looks like okay the steak was marinating for about two and a half hours and uh i got it on the griddle right now we'll leave it a couple minutes on this side and then flip it over and see what it's like Okay, the steaks are about done, uh, the green beans are done, and the fries just got a couple more minutes to go, so I'm going to let the steak just rest here on the heat. I'll just take it away from the main part of the heat, and just let it rest for a couple minutes, and we'll serve it up and dinner will be ready. Hey everybody, here's my plate. I got some garlic, french fries, uh, lemon pepper, green beans, and some marinated steak, and some water. So that's my dinner for tonight. Hope you guys enjoy this. Talk to you later. God bless. Pretty crazy stuff happening here, near, here in Oklahoma right now earthquakes in Oklahoma City, uh, bitterly cold winter or winter weather, uh, chance of some snow, high winds, <laughs> it's just pretty crazy right now, so uh, yeah, let's just pray we all get through this, uh, it's crazy all over the whole country, but I just wanted to give you guys this little clip, we'll talk to you later, God bless.